Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to share with everyone a couple things that I picked up. I uh, was out and about today, uh, hit, hit a couple Walmarts and whatnot, and went to a, an antique mall and that I like to go to and picked up a couple things there. Um, so I'll, I'll start with that and then show you what I found. If you're a part of the couple Facebook groups I'm part of, you already know what I found. I put a picture of it on there, but I'm going to show that and open some of that here in just a second. But uh, you guys know I'm a big Donnie baseball fan, Don Mattingly. So I found at a booth at this antique mall a couple of these oddball uh, Don Mattingly cards that I think I, ha I don't have two of them. I have this middle one, I believe. I don't have the two on the end. So I picked that up. Um, I also picked up just a couple a couple singles that I did not two of them I didn't have in my collection got a uh, 1978 tops Bruce Suter which I have a couple of his rookies but I did not have this one in my collection so I went ahead and picked that up um, I also picked up I do have this one but for a dollar I'm gonna pick up a 79 tops Reggie Jackson and I also picked up a 1975 tops batting leaders cards got mr uh, rod carew on there big rod carew fan so i picked that up i also i had this before but i, I like these little mini sets it's a 1986 fleer mini set and lots of lots of hall of famers in here uh there also is a jose canseco rookie card in here I, i've opened one of these up on the channel before i believe um I like Don Mattingly, the card in here. Uh, it's hard to get that card centered, so I like looking for centered ones. And also pick this little bag up. As you can see, 86 Fleer Don Mattingly in action on the front. And the tag on the back said it was an 86 Fleer lot. It also had Wade Boggs on the back. So I thought, you know, what the heck, maybe I can open this up and see if there's anything else in here as I know a lot of times you buy these little mystery bags like this and they'll put in you know they'll put a really good card on the top they'll put a really good card on the bottom and then they fill the middle with a bunch of junk but they are all 86 Fleer so I thought what the heck I'll take a chance for three bucks See if there's anything else worthwhile in here, and that kind of tells me what they did. But to me, that card is that card's worth it. It's, I, I like that card a lot. I have a, a few of those already, but you know we'll see if there's anybody else worthwhile in here. I completely expected there to be nothing. There's Kurt Gibson. It's not too bad. I expected there to really be nothing much at all in here, other than the front card and the back card. There's Tony Fernandez, Eric Gagne. And looks like or Saber Hagen. So a couple, eh, not so bad. But I'm not going to be, oh, there's a Hall of Famer. There's a good one, Andre Dawson. So I'm not too upset that there wasn't a whole lot in here. Again, because I really wasn't expecting. There's a prospect of Billy Joe Robidoux and Mark Funder Burke. Hey, looky there. That's a nice surprise. I do have this one already too, but oh, there's two of them. I'll take that. 84 and 85 American League batting champions, so that's pretty sweet getting that one. Then we have all-star catchers. We got Carlton Fisk and Rich Gedman, and then we got two more Hall of Famers there: Wade Boggs, George Brett. So, no, not too, uh, not too bad. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, happy with that. Got my three Dotty baseballs out of that little mystery bag of '86 Fleer. Um, so, no, not, not too bad. Uh, made this purchase off of eBay. This is a card I've wanted for a while, and I see uh, Professor Collector open some top old school tops finest. I knew this Don Mattingly card had, was out there, and I did not have this autograph in my collection, and I do now. So I got this off of eBay. You can see it's a 2002 tops finest um, on card autograph commemorating when Don Mattingly hit his home run in an eighth consecutive game, which just recently. Joey Votto was challenging that. I think Joey Votto got to uh, seven consecutive games, but 
The original person to do that was Dale Long, and then Don Mattingly was the second, and then uh, Mr. Uh, you probably heard of him, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. tied that record. So those three hold the record for hitting a home run in eight consecutive games. So really happy with that card. It's beautiful. Uh, but what we want to get to is I found in the wild before they were supposed to be released, um, Topps Chrome. So from 2021, so I've ended up buying a, a several blaster boxes of these. I've opened a, a few of them off camera and I haven't pulled a whole, whole lot. Uh, you can see I got a nice stack of base cards here and I'll go through and show before I, before I rip into this blaster, I'll show you some of the things I've pulled. One of the things that's different this year is they have put the, the pinks and the sepias. They are in the packs. They don't have their own separate packs. Um, I'm not sure. I believe in the past, maybe the sepias and pinks, those came in blast or not. They did not come in blasters. They came in like cello packs, but they're in the blasters and you, they're just in the packs themselves. So as you can see, there's a nice pink, uh, Jared Walsh gold cup, and I'll just go through these. I'm not going to show every single one. I can show you what the sepias look like. I got a, a pretty nice sepia that I will show here in just a second that I have top loaded. So there's another insert from this year, Prismic Power. You got Wilson Contreras. I actually doubled up on him. Then we have the Future Star insert. I got a few of those, as you can see here, but basically the same design as they had in previous years. But Kyle Lewis... There's Trent Grisham, Nico Horner, and Jesus Lazardo. I hit a, there's a few refractors. The refractors look nice. And I got to say, this, this 2021 Tops design, make, I mean, these cards are just gorgeous, gorgeous cards. And you can see the refractor effect there, the rainbow. Got a, a Corey Seager, Ryan Braun, Verlander, Garrett Cole, and a Francisco Lindor. The 86 designs look very nice on these as well in the chrome. Got a handful of those. Pull out a few of them there. Got Luis Garcia, Luis Robert. Man, that's, that is a sweet looking card right there. The black and the silver. Andres Jimenez and Christian Yelich, 86. And then I'll just go through the rest of these here. Let me just show you Got a Luis Campusano rookie. There's a Christian Yelich sepia. There's a Luan Diaz sepia, Andres Jimenez base. It's another insert, uh, the baseball, uh, Juan Soto. It's, uh, I'm trying to think of here, I guess it's players from Hispanic heritage, I would say, that that sets from, or uh, commemorating. There's another one back here, got Cattell Marte, pretty Pretty cards. Got an 86 throwback here. Uh, Mike Trout. It's a nice one. Got a Devin Williams Gold Cup. Casey Mize. There's a Noah Syndergaard Refractor. 86 Casey Mize. Sam Huff Rookie. Sleeved up all the rookies. Spencer Howard. Dalton Varsho. Luan Diaz. Chris Bubich. Tariq Skubal. There's a Adonis Medina Sepia Rookie. The Prisms are... I've gotten one prism per box, I believe, so far that I've opened. And, man, they are just gorgeous. Javi Baez prism. we got a Corey Kluber. And a Jack Flaherty. Very nice effect on those. A sepia there of Gold Cup of Tony Gonsolin. Just showed you the Cattell Marte. Got an Alejandro Kirk base rookie. Shirt and Apostle, Sean Murphy Gold Cup. And those were all sleeved up. Some of them were, some of them weren't. Um, but here's the ones that I I got top loaded. From the Reds, I got a sepia Tyler Stevenson rookie refractor. Gorgeous card. Pulled a Jake Cronenworth rookie card. It's a very nice one. Got a Key Brian Hayes. And this Key Brian Hayes, as you can see, 
is a refractor. And you can tell, if you can't, you can tell by the rainbow effect, but it tells you right there underneath the tops, the Twitter and Instagram at tops, it says refractor. So if you're not sure and you, it's, I mean, it, to me, it's kind of obvious. You can see when you turn it, it has the rainbow effect, but got an Alex Kirilov rookie refractor. It says refractor up there. Got an 86 throwback of Joe Adele. Very nice card. A pink of Christian Javier. Great rookie pitcher from the, the Houston Astros. I got a base, Key Brian Hayes. Dylan Carlson, 86 design. And rookie pitcher from the White Sox, Garrett Crochet. Got a prism of him. So I have yet to hit an auto. I split uh, the, all the boxes I bought. I split them with a buddy of mine. He... He took half and I took half. So hopefully his half didn't have all the hits and all the autos in it, but we'll see. I know they did make a lot more Topps Chrome this year than they have in the past. I want to get ripping into one of these boxes and you can see the odds here. You can see that a refractor is one in four, a prism is one in eight, sepias are one in four. Pinks one and four, the negatives the are one in 131. If we get down to the autographs, you can see there are parallel or there are, sorry, there are uh, I don't image variations, short prints and things like that. But it's more a little more difficult to get uh, hit a few autographs out of last year's tops Chrome, but. This year's a little bit more difficult. And we'll get ripping into these. And who knows, maybe I'm just saving all the maybe I'm saving a lot of the good stuff so that we can see it on camera here. I do have a few more boxes of this that I will rip into. But you can see you got eight packs this year in a blaster. Eight packs. There's four cards in each pack. So let's get ripping into one of these blaster boxes and take a look at what we get. So our first card, Jake Arietta, Matt Chapman, got a prism coming up next, and a, there's another trout, very nice. Take a trout chrome, and our prism, it's like J.D. Martinez. So J.D. Martinez Prism Refractor, very nice. Some nice looking cards, but I have yet to hit a you know parallel of any sort other than the you know the prisms and what you say they get you get the sepia and you get the pink, but I haven't had any. And as I say that, as I say I have yet to hit any color or anything like that. We have a purple in this pack. We have a nice purple in this pack. So, you know what? Let's just go with it. Not going to save it for the end. Let's just go with it and see what we got. So we start with Nick Senzel, Anthony Rizzo. Last card. Ooh, there we go. That is, that's a nice one. Get a sleeve here. I'm going to sleeve that one up real quick. But a sepia Tatis. I will take it. It's a nice looking card. A sepia Tatis. And let's see who is our purple. Is it an auto? I don't know. Hopefully. It is. It's an Oakland A. Who is that? Is that Chris Davis? That is Chris Davis. So we have a Chris Davis purple. It's the first color I've pulled. Number 252 out of 299. So cool to hit a a base parallel like that not exactly who you would want if you had a choice but we don't have a choice do we we get what we get let's get into this next pack here see what we got we got eugenio suarez charlie morton 
There's a Garrett Crochet base rookie, and we have a, looks like a Future Stars insert, and it is Mike Brosseau. Brosseau. I think I, every time I say that, I say it, I say it differently. Next pack, got a Mookie on the top, and we got a pink in this pack at the back. So we got Mookie, we got Aaron Nola. We have a refractor here of Aroldis Chapman and our pink is, looks like Sean Murphy, gold cup. Very nice. Pretty decent catcher so far. I tell you those, these colors really pop on these cards. Kind of can you can kind of tell at the beginning of the year whenever the design comes out. Like you can tell twenty if you haven't seen they've released the design for twenty twenty two tops and they've already shown Wander Franco is going to be in there, but you can see that the you can pretty much tell that the color. I mean when they chrome the card out how how it's going to look and I knew that from the beginning that these chromes for this year were going to be pretty gorgeous. There's a nice insert, Vladdy Jr. And we have an 86 on the back. It's Seattle Mariners. It's Kyle Lewis. Not too bad. Take that one. But these cards are definitely beautiful looking cards. <clears throat> it's just going to be tough to hit retail. It's going to be expensive to get any... Uh, hobby, hobby box pre-orders are over $300 a box. I don't know. It's got a Charlie Blackman sepia in there. I know I'll be out waiting them hope when they release them on Topps' website. I, I would be shocked if they're, if it's $300 for a hobby box. I wouldn't be surprised. we got a base Tatis. There's a nice Leota Tavares rookie. Will Myers base, and we have a pink in this pack as well, and it's Corey Seager. So that'll take us down to our last pack. So I did hit the purple. It was, you know, Chris Davis, but not. It's nice to see some color. Know it's out there. Davy Garcia, another Aroldis Chapman, and last two cards. We have a Cattell Marte refractor. And an 86 of, there's a, oh, that's a, I'll take that, Key Brian Hayes. So, honestly, those are probably, I would say, most valuable cards out of there. I would say, even though that's it's a numbered parallel, I bet the Key Brian Hayes and the Tati Sepia probably are more valuable than the, the purple is. But, anyway, got more of this coming. I'm going to open, maybe we can get a, Pull us a sweet autograph on camera here, but in the future. But thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.